Just go, congratulations. We know that you had to wait a long time to get this moment. So, so tell us the emotion. What's it feel like to finally get the first UFC win? Thank you. First, you know, it feels great. Still, emotions haven't settled, you know, and I, I'm not aware of the victory yet, but in a couple of hours, maybe days, it will settle down and I will enjoy the fruit of my labor, you know? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> You, you were tagging him on the feet early on. Were you surprised? I mean, you, you had a lot of respect for him, I know, but you were, were you surprised that he was able to take that damage? We expected. We, we, saw, we saw in previous fights that people, you know, bigger people than me, have hit, hit him clean and he wasn't going down. So we knew that he was, you know, he can endure much punishment and take a lot of shots. So my coach in second round told me, you know, to go to clinch, wrestle, and take him down. So I just felt if I that I had more success in striking, but I knew that he can take my punches, and I didn't want to risk going to you know deep, deeper waters, third round, and maybe get exhausted and getting caught. So I think we did a good tactical job, good, good strategy, and we also showed lots of striking, so I think it was fun, you know. Yeah. You were very dominant on the ground. I mean, you hit him with some hard shots there, too. It was weird because when they stopped it, like, he kind of protested a little, but, I mean, you had been hitting him pretty clean. So did, were, yeah. you, were you okay with the stoppage? you feel like it was a good time? Well, you know, if you, there's always two sides to the story, you know. As a fighter, you always feel like you can endure, and maybe you can, but what if you can't, you know? So it's referee's, you know, responsibility to come in and stop the fight. Every fighter will say that he can take more punishment. That's, you know, we are fighters uh, at the end, you know. But I, I feel like if referee says it's done, then it's done. My personal opinion is it's better to re take one punch less than one, one punch more because, you know, we are not small guys. We, we, we are middleweights and every punch counts. Yeah, nice. Last thing for me, I mean, I know it was a weird year to get here, but now that you're here, got the win, you're on a main card. Um, what's next? I mean, are you hoping to kind of fight quickly to make up for lost time? Do you have a name in mind? What's, what's the plan for you? You know, I've been in a fight camp, training camp for over a year, and my body is, <laughs> you know, there are a lot of injuries, small stuff, but it's been, you know, accumulating over the time. So I'm just going to heal my body first, take a little rest and keep working. I, I'm young. I, I, I don't feel like I have to, you know, I'm not on the end of my career, so that I have, I don't have a pressure of doing as much fights as I need to. I'll take a couple weeks off and then I'm back in the gym, back to the work and maybe see you again on the Fight Island, you know? <laughs> Dusk over here. Yeah. Uh, that's that uh, double leg against the fence and then the slam into the center of the octagon. Uh, is that, a, is that a, a position you knew you could take advantage of as the fight went on? Well, to be honest, uh, in practice we, we, watch our, we watch his fights and we saw that he defends against the fence that that's his you know best def best you know defensive tool if i can say so and people have taken him down easily in center of the octagon so i sh shoot a double again into a fence i managed to to close my hands around his hips so at that point i knew that i can take him down but uh, during the preparation for this fight for this fight you know we paid special attention to that part of fighting, just wrestling on a, on a fence, and we knew that he, he has good b balance, he is tall, he is hard to take down, so, you know, I, f I just feel I surprised him, so that's the, one of the reasons that I was able to get him down that easily. Did you say that this was your first takedown in a fight? I think so, I'm not 100% sure, but in all my previous fights, I dominate stand up and they take me down and I submit or sweep or anything. So I think this is probably my first takedown in, in my professional career. And at the media day, you said you wanted to bring uh, MMA kind of to the forefront of your, your country back yeah. home in Serbia. Do you think this performance was enough to catch people's attention back home? Yeah, sure. I mean, I fought a dangerous opponent. The one is a guy who fought at light heavyweight. My previous opponent was a champion in light heavyweight in another organization. So 
Also, I think I've proven that I'm not a small guy for middleweight, as lots of people have told before, you know, that I should go down to welterweight, but I, if, it, if it ain't broken, don't fix it, you know, there's a saying, so we're going to stay here. And I, I feel like I've done a good job tonight, I, that people back at home in Serbia, I think that I caught their attention, at least those who, does, who didn't know about me. You also said that you want to become uh, Novak Djokovic of MMA. Do you feel like you made the right first step in, the, in, in this direction? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I feel like victory after victory, I'm going to one day make that come true. You also said that you want to keep that zero in your record. Are you planning to play safe, you know, or are you just going to fight anyone who UFC offers you and just go with the flow? I don't think there's playing safe here, you know, there's no picking. <laughs> I can't, you know, I can't tell uh, Dana if he sends a contract, I can't tell, I don't want to fight this guy, I want to fight this guy. You know, whoever he sends, we, we're going to accept it, you know, it's just the way it is, there's no... I, I never picked, a, picked an opponent. We get a name, we prepare for that guy, and we have strategy tactics, and for now it has worked like a charm. <laughs> Are you ready to call people out at this point? Mm, I, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, for my career, I never, you know, called no one out to talk about trash, trash talk to nobody or something like that. I just want people to recognize me and know for me because of my skill, because of my, you know, because of what I can do in inside that octagon and not to recognize me because I called out some famous guy or trash talked or did something stupid. So I want to be recognized as a, as a f real fighter, real mixed martial artist, mixed martial artist, you know? Is it back to work on your thesis now? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> let's not get, get let's not rush. <laughs>